Alright, welcome everyone. Update 1.045, sunny springtime. We just doing a fast read over. The update is going live in about uh, 4 days, which will be the 12th. And let's just jump in into the first point. Commander updates to give all governors more control. I'm just shortening this up. Finally, we're getting the skill lock function. This is going live with the update on the 12th. And after 2 days of this update, we're getting skill reset items. Now it's just saying items. I think it's going to be minimum 2 referring to this, but how many? We don't know yet. 2. Other optimizations. We have received numerous complaints from governors about problems such as lag when many troops are on the screen. Uh, a new graphics option to the settings has been added, so yeah, it's uh, further possible to increase the details even more. Second, we have added an explanation of the chances to forge special, uh, special talent equipment to the forging system description. Governors should now be able to make better informed decisions about how to invest their materials. Please note that we have only added a description and have not made any changes to the chance. Hmm. Okay, let's blend in this picture. Let me read it up. When you forge the same piece of equipment multiple times, the chance of gaining a special talent bonus will increase each time until you get one as follows. So this is like a guarantee if you forge five. I don't know who's going to forge uh, five legendary equipments, uh, the same ones. Mm, I don't know, but yeah, there is a way to fix the, to increase the crit rate if you read up this picture. I'm not sure if this has become active with this following update, but uh, yeah, there will be a way. Okay, third, added more commander support skills to Heroic Ansem in Lost Kingdom Season of Conquest. All right, fourth, you can now view camp information in the event Eve of the Crusade of Lost Kingdom season of conquest okay fifth you can now view information on governors who are not part of your alliance by tapping their troops on the map uh, just shortening times if you're looking for information six a special notice has been added for when your troops are being attacked but are not fighting back i don't know any situation where this is the case i mean if you're getting attacked you ought to attack back right i don't know what they're referring here to as seventh, to allow governors to enjoy a wide variety of city seams, active limited time seams will not expire when a new seam is used and can be used again during its duration. This means, if you for example are using a seven day city seam and then you are switching to another seam, the remaining time is getting saved. So you can just change back to your seven days and the remaining time is usable. 8. Optimize the calculation method for Imperial Kingdoms. Troops in the Hall, in the Hall of Heroes will now be returned at the end of the Season of Conquest, regardless of whether or not the governor is online. Um, well, there is a way to drop your kingdom power if you not log in after a KBK is finished. I'm, I think they're going to address this issue here. Let's just call it an issue. But it's going to be in four days, so all KBKs which finish uh, more early, they still should be able to make use of this. Tens. Added a new star characters feature to the character management screen. Governors can now more conveniently manage their multiple characters. I think they referring to like you can put a star on your commander as a favorite. So you can order your commanders yourself by just putting a star on your favorite commander and they will appear on the top. Um, that's a good future I think. It's going to save some time if you want to uh, make up your combinations. 11th, in order to make managing member applications easier, the alliance leader and officers can now go setting notification approval reports in the profile and set a minimum power level. When appli applica uh, applicants meet the set requirements, they will receive a notification message. Alright. 12th, added a number of alliance symbols for governors to choose from. Mm, okay. 13. Optimize the kill records and ranking calculation method to better take into account the tier of troops killed. Wait. But don't we have this already? I mean, you can see which kind of tiers you killed here. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe they're referring to the deaths, which would make sense, right? Because for some governors, you don't know if they have deaths in T1, in 2, 3, 4 or 5. Maybe they meaning dead here. I'm not sure because for kills you already see the tears. Okay. 
uh, 14th. The deceptive troops items effect up until now has been too simple and does not sufficient confuse opponents. Now, this is true. Uh, with this in mind, we have changed both the effect and description to add more uncertainty. We hope this item's new design will provide more avenues for strategy going forward. Now, if you use deceptive troops, this mean, it literally means you're just doubling your troops when someone is scouting you. Now, um, for my opinion, before you start a rally to a city, you just check the power. I never check for the troops, I'm just referring to the power. So what I think they're going to improve here is the deceptive troops item will also double the power of the city. No, I'm not 100% sure, but this would make sense. This is a way to go if you want to improve it. People going for power, not for troops in inside, if you ask me. So high chance the deceptive troops is going to double faking your power. Alright, that's it. Just a short uh, read up on the new update. Becoming active in 4 days. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the day and see you on the next one.